Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Oh my god, a moth just flew across the screen. I hope y'all saw that. Anyway, today we're going to be going through a warm up. It's going to work out. It's going to get the blood flowing. Hopefully, you're doing this you know, before your workout or at the end of the day. It's kind of get like a tell yourself out or you need more energy. All of them work, all the, all the above. So, all you're going to need today is a chair and uh, a jacket or like a resistance band if you have one. I don't have one right now, so you know, a jacket's going to work. So you, what we're gonna do first is put your chair out the way. What we're gonna do first is kind of get the blood flowing. And we're just gonna shuffle side to side. So you're gonna get down, kind of in an athletic stance. So you know, feet shoulder width apart, chest up. You're about you know 45 degrees. And you're not 90 degrees at the squat. You're about 45. And we're just gonna shuffle to the left and the right. I'm gonna show you how, how it looks. You're gonna shuffle this way, step and tap. So we, if you're stepping with your left foot, then your right foot's gonna tap right by you know your left foot, and then opposite for the other way. So we're gonna do this for about. 15 seconds, start it right now. Just breathing normally, kind of getting the blood flowing. You can get kind of a little rhythm going if you want to. If you're dancing by yourself, you know, having a little dance party, that's what I'm doing. All right, we got about three, two, and one. Nice job. This next one we're gonna do, kind of get the hip flexors warmed up, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, hip rotations. All, also called like opening, closing the gate. Um, if you won't need extra, you know, stability, go ahead and grab that chair. I guess this is how it's going to look like. We're going to do our left hip first. You're going to hold up about 90 degrees. Straight up, excuse me, straight out in front of you. And you're just going to open it up, out. So that you're going to try and you know, you go back as far as you want. You can push a little, have a little bit of tension with your hand. And it's all up to you how, you know, how far, how much tension you want to put on your hips. You're just going to come out and back in. And out and back in. And we just keep doing these. Just breathe normally. We do these for uh, three more. Three. That's good. Two and one. Nice, let it slow. And now we're gonna go to the right side. So again, if you want the chair, you can do that. Or if you want, and you want to, we'll work, you know, work some balance, you can do that as well. Um, just open that gate, get to about 90 degrees if you can. Just kind of open up that hip flexor, getting the blood flow and getting it warm. All right, so we're gonna do this for three more. Three, two, and one. <coughs> nice. Now that we got our Hips warmed up, we got our calves and everything else warmed up as well. We're just gonna do a you know, good old squats as well. Um, you can either do a normal squat, you know, shoulder width apart, you know, coming down to 90 um, if you want to. I would you know, not recommend going all the way down. It puts a lot of tension on your knees, but you know, the further you go down to 90, the harder it's gonna be. So you can go as low as you want, make it as difficult for you as you want. Or you can go and you can do what's called a pistol squat. Put your feet kind of close together at like a 45 degree angle, at least is what I like. I'm um, just kind of like duck feet, you're going to come down. And that's more quad dependent uh, for a squat. So if you do those, uh, we're just going to do 10 squats, nice and easy. So you're going to come down, you're going to breathe out on the way up. You can put your hands out in front of you. Um, you can put them across your chest. So then you touch your you know, elbows to your knees. It's kind of also a good reminder saying that, oh, okay, I'm, I am hitting 90. We're going to do these for six more. Just breathe in normally. Go on nice and slow. The slower you go, the more it's going to burn. So you can go at you know, whatever tempo you want to go at, you can do. Alright. Do these for three, two, and last one right here. Nice. Alright, this next one, we're going to do kind of a, a lunge with a twist. So here's what it's going to look. So for lunging, we're going to lunge with our right foot forward first. We're going to take I said you can kind of see a gauge is probably about like let's say about 24 inches uh, in front of you if you want. Just gonna step out here, get your balance, come straight down, take the elevator, not escalator, keep your knees uh, behind your toes, kind of like right in line with your ankle. And you're gonna come down, and you're just gonna twist to the side that the knee is up. So in this case, you do it with your right leg, you're gonna twist to the right side. So you come back up, you're gonna come down and twist like and you're gonna come right back up. And then we're gonna switch to the left leg. You're gonna come down and twist to the left because it is your left leg. We're gonna take an elevator, come straight down, not an escalator. You, don't, you do not want to put your knee over your toe. That's gonna be very detrimental to your knees. We're gonna do two more each side. So we're gonna do the right side. So we're gonna come down, once we twist, do that stretch, come back up, come down, just breathing normally on the way up. Twist to that left side. Breathe out normally. Come down. Twist. Come back neutral. Come back up. 
The left side, last one right here. Twist the open side. Come back up. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is uh, hamstring curls, also called uh, glute kickers. You can step side to side um, if you're doing this, if you want to, or you can do them stationary. And that's all dependent on y'all. I'm going to do them uh, moving because I feel like I'm going to get more energy, kind of get more steps in. That's what I'm going to do. So if you want to step to the, the left, you want to pick up your right leg and take your heel as close to your glute as you can. So if we're stepping to my left, so it'd be your right. So if you're here, step, and then you're just going to kind of alternate just breathe in. And you can also get kind of a, a arm, arm, the upper body warm up if you want to. Uh, depend on anyone. If you want to do arm circles and do a cross, or you can just keep them right here. I just kind of like shake it out and get loose. I'm going to do this for another 10 seconds right here. We're going to start going to my left side. Just going, just breathing nice and normally. Or you can get the arm swings in if you want. Do arm circles, or you just keep them nice and loose. It's up to y'all. Getting high as you can. Getting those glutes and those hamstrings activated. And do it for another three, two, and one. Nice. Now we're going to do a little bit. We're going to do some side lunges, kind of get the abductors and adductors warmed up. So inside, outside of uh, you know your thighs. I'm going to do get your feet slightly, you know, longer than shoulder width apart. You know, to come down, kind of like you're sticking your glute. You want to push it behind you, so it's like you want to push it towards, like in this case, uh, my back wall. So if I come down and out, my knee is in a stable position. It's going to come in. It's not going to lean all the way forward over my toes. It's going to kind of stay in a neutral position and line over my heel. And you should feel it stretch out right here in your adductors on your left. You're going to stick your glutes back to the left wall as you can. So if you go down to the left side, come down here, you can always put your arms out in front of you if you want. It depends on how comfortable that is for you. Or you can always rest uh, your arm on your knee, depending on how comfortable it is for you. Or you can go as far down as you want. If you get a good stretch here, stay there. If you get a good stretch here, go here. Uh, so it's all dependent on y'all. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three each side. So we come down. Breathe in right here, feel it stretch, come back up, nice. Just get the blood going. Nice, keep your knee a nice spot, good job, y'all. I don't know, it's just, it might be a little fast paced, but it's a good warm up in. All right, so last one, we're on this side, and nice. All right, this next one we're gonna get is uh, high knees. So what we're gonna do, sorry, I watch with buzzing. We're gonna do, it's gonna, you can get high knees. We're gonna do this kind of a march in place. Um, so if y'all do want like high knees, just get in here. Just get your knees as high as possible. Just kind of getting that blood flowing. You can, march, you can go side to side, you can go front to back. Or you can do it stationary. And you can pop your arms as well. It's gonna that nice little bit of bicep curl in. If you want, that's all up to you. Stay right here, kind of shake it out, get loose, get the blood flowing. That's how it's gonna look. The higher you get your knee, um, the more of a stretch you can kind of feel um, in your glute and your hamstrings. So we're going to do that for about 10 seconds starting now. So pump the arms, pump the legs if you want to. Um, you can move around if you want to, if you got the space. Like I do. We're just really nice and light. Alright, do this for about 3, 2, and 1. Nice. So this next one we're going to do. It's called, uh, people call it grapevines or karaoke's. I know I've done this one, I think in the last one of my videos, they're uh, one of my favorites. Um, so I'm definitely explain it again. So what we're gonna do, going to my left side, we're gonna do step, behind, step, together. So we go to the side, we step, behind, step, together. It's just a nice little kind of like, getting the hips rotated, you can get kind of like the, it's kind of like a dance move, you can pull it out, you know, the, a family reunion or a bar, you know, you know, whatever you want to do. So we're going to do this for about 10 seconds, just switching back and forth. Um, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Um, you can get as much rotation as you want. Um, it's all dependent on y'all. Just kind of like getting the blood flowing. Are you enjoying yourself? I hope so. But we're going to be starting this side. We step behind, step together, step behind, step together. You get kind of a movement, kind of a rhythm. If you got a song stuck in your head. Kind of dance to it, kind of get it out if you want to. Three on this for another five seconds. Three, two, and one. 
Nice job. This next one, it's kind of, it's called either toy soldiers or you just kind of like um, toe touches or toe kicks. We're just going to kind of kick. So this one, if you need it, a bit of, you know, add dot support. Okay, it's right here. We're just going to come in. So if we have the chair on, say, my left side, we're going to kick with our right leg. So you're just going to come up. And you can come up, kick as high as you want. If you want to pulse down here, you can do that. If you want to get big, long strides, um, you can do that as well. We're just getting kind of our our body warmed up. So we're going to do these for three each side. You're going to stand nice and tall, kind of brace, stand strong on the left foot, pull on the chair if you need to, and just kick up. You can let it back down slow. The more you control down on the ground, the more you're going to feel it on your hip flexor, just pulling your leg back down on the ground, the more of like a workout slash warm up you're going to get. So we're going to do one, two, three. Nice. We're going to go to the other side right here. Again, speed. One, nice and slow. Two, if you fall, kind of regain your composure, put on the chair a little bit more. Stay nice and tall. Two, and one. Nice job. So, this next one, you kind of uh, get kind of the core work going. So, we're going to go down to the ground right here. We're going to do crunches. I don't know if you've got to lie down and see. So, I'm going to do it from this side so I can see. So, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna kind of cross my feet up in the air right here. You can hold them here, or you can put them on the ground, depending on you know, how comfortable you are with you know, crunching from the ground up your legs. I personally like them in the air. And then you just get a nice little crunch uh, from your elbows to your knees. What you're gonna do, you're just gonna interlace your fingers behind your head. Um, do not pull on your head, keep your head in a neutral position. You're gonna come up, crunch. You're gonna feel your, you know, your abdominals work, so you're gonna crunch your elbows to your knees and you're fully extended on the way and you know at the bottom. Come up, squeeze, come down. You're gonna breathe out when you're crunching in and then you wanna breathe in when you're coming out. So we're gonna do five of these right here. So we're gonna fully out, two, three, nice job guys, keep going. Four, last one right here, squeeze, nice. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go kind of a, a plank position. Uh, we're going to see, you know, you could do a, you could do a plank from, um, you have a push-up position right here. You can do it on your forearms, or you can hold a push-up position from your knees. And you're just kind of holding, you're going to kind of brace, you're going to brace your core, you're going to kind of crunch down. You should feel, you're going to keep your back as straight as possible. So you're going to show it from this side. So you're going to say if I'm in a push-up position, I want my hips engaged. You kind of want to, you know, roll your your hips forward. You want to brace down on your rib cage so your back is flat as possible. If I were to put my strength coach in high school, I always would have said, if you put a glass of wine on your back, I mean, it would not move. You know, you know, no wine would be spilled. So that's how it's going to look. You're just going to do a plank uh, for 15 seconds. You either do it from your forearms, um, you can do it from the push-up position, you can do it from the push-up position. Um, on your knees as well. Whatever is comfortable, whatever you know, intensity y'all want to go at. I'm going to go from a push-up position just to show y'all how I'll keep, excuse me, I'll rotate um, from the front and the side so y'all can see what it looks like. So we're going to go here. Right. You put your head up or kind of a neutral position. Squeezing down, and brace, bracing your core. Just breathing nice and light. Kind of squeezing. So if I rotate from this way, Bracing down my core, my hips are rolled forward, my rib cage engaged, I'm bracing down on my core. I have a neutral head position, it's right here. So I'm just for another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so this next one, it's uh, either dead bug or bia. That's uh, one of my favorites. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna come in and just gonna have your knees up about right here on the side. So you have your knees to your forearms and you're gonna come out and come up. You can either come up and try to touch your toes or you can come up and touch your forearms, your knees. I'm gonna do this for about 10 seconds. So you're gonna come out, back, out. You're gonna breathe out. When you're bringing your knees back, you know, to your forearms, you're just gonna get in 
try and breathe it you know, nice and tight. You can go as slow you can go one arm, one leg if you want. Um, you know, whatever intensity you, you want to go at. You can do this for another two and one. Awesome. This next one, so you just be Russian twist. Either you can go from the floor right here. I'm just kind of crossing. What I like to do, if you want to go from the floor, it's just right here to your knees. Kind of not like a 90 degree, kind of 45 degree angle. You're just going to twist from side to side, engaging your core and bracing down. It's kind of like bracing down if you breathe out all of your air and you're you know, squeezing on your abdominals. Um, that's what you're going to feel like. And you're going to feel your obliques um, working as well for a Russian twist. If you want a little bit more of an ad challenge, you can hold your legs up in the air and twist side to side there. Do this for another five seconds. Just breathe it normally. Get a full squeeze in. Three, two, and one. Nice. Now we're going to move into kind of the upper body. We're going to do just some good old fashioned push ups. I mean, so we're either going to do it from your knees, somewhere like this. You know, from your knees, you're going to come down and come back up. Or you can do it from your toes. You come back down, come back. You want to also, you know, gauge your core, get that nice neutral position, you know, your back flat, just kind of a plank, um, head neutral position as well. So when you come down, you're going to breathe out on the way up. Alright, so here we're going to go from your knees, your toes, we got five of these. Ready? Down, up, what was one, two, three, four, and this next one, this is where your resistance band or your jacket, in my case, comes handy. So what we're going to do is take both of your sleeves. Now, the closer your hands together are it's going to be, it's going to kind of hold your jacket. Okay, it's going to kind of pull it apart. Don't pull it apart too much or else you're going to rip it, just kind of like I did. But you're just going to kind of keep some constant tension. Just you feel your shoulders working. I'm just going to do this for about 10 seconds. Squeeze in. Get your chest up nice and tight, just kind of breathing normally. Just kind of getting some tension on my shoulders. I got three, two, and one. Nice, you feel your shoulders kind of warming up. That's good, because so now we're going to do some arm swings, my favorite. Just kind of get my shoulders warmed up. Some nice big circles if you want to. Go in reverse. Right, we're going to hit two more forward. Two, two. We're going to feel it. You can go as big or as small as you want. You can either do some. Inner, you know, inner external rotation if you want, your shoulder. It's kind of whatever feels best for y'all. Um, so we're gonna go to the back. We got two more in the back. One, two. Get okay, our shoulders nice and warm up. All right, now we're gonna do our left arm. One and two. I just just keep my hand just kind of like on my chest. It's kind of like that neutral position. Um, and so we're gonna do more here, and we're gonna switch to the back. One. So this so next one is be tricep overhead press. You do it with your arm right here, and kind of like if you're grabbing your arm to do kind of a, like a tricep stretch, put your hand if you want to for added resistance, kind of on the back right here, and you're just gonna press up. You're just gonna press up right here. Um, you should feel it working. If not, just do it with your body weight. That works as well. Or you can grab a weight and do it as well. And they all work. So we do this for five this side. So one. Two, three, four, and five. Let out nice and slow. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Right here. So one, two, three, four, and five. On these, you want to let it come down fully, so you're also stretching you know, at the bottom. So this next one, you can go fasten, fashion bicep curls. So you can press your hands together. This one too. If you're doing your right arm, so start with the right arm. Pass your, your left hand over your right, and you're just going to kind of push down with your left hand and pull up with your right. Obviously, you don't want to put too much pressure, or else you know it's not going to go anywhere. You're just going to kind of hit right here. So, we're going to do five of those. So, it's going to be one, two, fully extend, three, four, and five. So, switch the left arm. So it's going to be one, and stretch out the bottom, two, three, four. Awesome. Almost there. We got two more exercises left. This next one. So you just kind of stretch out your back. And kind of in that 45 degree, you know, 
kind of athletic position right here, and you're gonna grab your elbows, and you're gonna kind of stretch your back out. Um, you can lean to either side, just kind of getting that extra lat stretch, but you honestly just kind of letting your arms um, fall forward and do that. So we're gonna hold this for another five seconds right here. Three, two, and one. Come with it out. Nice and good. So here, what you do, the next one we do is uh, a row. So either you can get a chair pad support if you want to. See, so we're doing our right side. Well, I have a weight right here. So say you're doing it with a weight. Um, you do a body weight as well. If you have a weight, you can hold on to the chair right here. here. If we're doing our right side, you want your left you know, foot forward. You're going to kind of let the weight hang down a little bit, and you're going to row up and squeeze with your lat in the back. Kind of like this. You're kind of feeling like you want your you want your arm is kind of like a neutral position. You're not going to kind of like row it all with your arm. You want your back and it just kind of feel like you're pulling up in a way with your back and you want your, you want your to pinch. Act like I'm putting my finger in your back. You're going to want to pinch that. So we got three on this side. One, pinch, let it out. Two, and three. Breathe it. When we're breathing out, we're doing the work. Remember that. We're going this side, doing our left side. So we are our right foot forward right here. Bend over slightly, and over kind of the hips. And let that weight come in forward. You feel that last stretch? You're gonna come in. Three more right here. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Kind of good to shake it all out. Hope you all enjoyed this this warm up, and I hope you have a great rest of your your day, or you know whatever whatever time you're watching this.